time just thinking. Well, not thinking, more like concentrating. Gotta get ready to double line this bag. Someone sent me a link on really cool barf bags, and I literally zip off here done. And it's crazy because I really did look them up and think about getting them. We're leaving late. Start driving and then get sick. <clears throat> this is horrible. Okay, <sighs> fine. I wish this was ice cold. It's not. Oh, today I think it's gonna be a rough day. Getting better. And I thought, like, oh, I'm having a great week, week 13. Our vacation's gonna be perfect because I won't have morning sickness. I pray I don't have morning sickness. Oh my gosh. Well, I almost made it. I drop packs off without throwing up. Well, let's hope this doesn't spill. I had to pull into a church parking lot. Oh my gosh. My makeup is gonna look horrible. <sighs> yeah. I'm running late. I'm afraid that this is seriously gonna spill. Oh my gosh. Let's pray not to tie this. take care of five minutes away. I almost made it. But I'd rather throw up here than in her driveway with like parents staring at me. Looking like uh, who knows what they think. I don't they don't know I'm pregnant so they could think I had like a hangover or something. But little do they know I don't drink that. <laughs> it's the fifth time I threw up today. <laughs> Oh, you guys my heart is like beating I was really scared I went to after work it's not funny I'm actually I was really scared I went to we have a store called Boscos I don't know if other places have that but I never go there I was looking for snow suits all this week I could never find any and my friend found one for me at Boscos so I went over there picked it up they held it for me because they only had one left and they said it was 18 months but it ended up being 12 months but I which I really wanted to get packed 18 months or 12 to 18 months would have been perfect because the one 18 month jacket that we have is too big so I'll probably bring that just in case this one seems too small but um yeah it was a two piece and it's really cute and I got him two sets of beanies and then gloves but they didn't have waterproof gloves I could not find any waterproof gloves they were just like little mittens so I got two pairs of those I got them snow boots and the snow boots I was like debating between a size 5 which that's what he is or a size 6 but the size 5s like there's so much cushion in these boots that I seriously don't even think I could get the size 5s on so I got the size 6 which they still seem like they had so much cushion inside because like the insert can come out and then you put their foot in and then you slide it into the boot. So I'm praying that they're easy to get on because they really didn't seem like they would be. But Rob's mom and dad got him a pair of boots which is really nice that they're going to drop off. So if they fit him better then he'll wear those. 
so I'm excited that he's gonna got all his snow stuff. But anyways, that's totally off the topic of why I'm scared, <laughs> why I was scared. But I was at Boscov's, went there, got the snowsuit, left, went to Burlington Coat Factory. I don't know if that's a place you guys have. I never go there, but I knew that they had like boots and stuff. So I went there and it's not in like the greatest area. Um, like it was close to, it's close to my work. So that's why I went there, but it's not in like the greatest area, um, that store. So I got my stuff and I'm always like, I've always been paranoid of like someone kidnapping me. Like I've always, 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 since I can remember, have been so scared of that. And I'm like, whenever I go anywhere, I am super like aware of my surroundings. Like I make sure no one's following me. No one watches me get in the car. I never park next to a van that can slide their door open, rip me into it and slide it and close it. Like I am super anal about not parking next to vans and watching people around me and like everything. I'm super like aware of my surroundings. I saw this guy walking, like getting Paxton's gloves and stuff and I'm walking towards the register and I see this guy, he's wearing like all black or whatever, he has his hand in his pocket and I'm like, okay, this guy looks kind of shady and I like get out my phone because I like to like act like I'm on the phone or something, get my phone and then I start walking to the register, he's like walking away from where I was walking and then like turned around and like came by the registers. So as I'm like paying, I'm like getting my debit card out of my purse and like trying to get my cards out of my purse. That way, just in case if he was to try to steal my purse, and I, which I was mad because I usually always wear a cross, crossbody purse. So that way if someone tried to take, like the, they couldn't just rip a purse off of my arm. Um, but I had like my big purse with me because I had my work stuff in it too. But anyways, um, so I started taking all my stuff out and putting in my pocket that way if he was to take my purse none of my important stuff would be in my purse that makes sense um and rob's mom like as soon and so he was like standing by the registers like where i was and then as soon as like i was rung up rob's mom called me like thank god so i like answered it like as soon as i was done checking out and i was like hello so i like walked away i like passed him and then like I'm walking out and I'm like looking kind of like behind me seeing if like he's coming and I didn't see him and then all of a sudden I started seeing him like walking and I'm like oh and so I told Rob so I'm on the phone like stay on the phone with me I'm like I'm having an anxiety attack and I'm looking for my keys I thought they were my jacket couldn't find them looking through my purse here they are in my pocket and I'm like stay on the phone with me and then I get them and I didn't see him at first and then all of a sudden I see him like walking like starting to walk out of the store and so am I so as soon as I see him I like walk so fast to my car got in because whenever I get into my car the first thing I do when I get into my car is lock my car and but I was really scared and very paranoid um but I feel like nowadays any day really you have the right to be because people do crazy things and they don't care at all one time Rob was at McDonald's in the drive-thru and was it in my car because my car is um if you go faster than five miles per hour the doors automatically lock so he went through the drive-thru at a McDonald's not around where we live um in a different area but around drove around the McDonald's through the drive-thru and sat and was eating his lunch in the parking lot some guy runs up to my car I wasn't in the car he was on lunch break goes like this to the, to the driver's side like goes to like yank it and Rob was like on his phone so I don't know if the guy was going to rip the phone out of his hand or what he was planning on doing but our door but the doors were locked because he drove to the drive through um so as soon as the guy realized that the door was locked he like backed up and was like like back like oh my bad kind of thing and he ran away like across the street like oh like like people I don't know who raised you, but people were, people, some people just don't care. And it's scary. And you have to be super aware or that's when things happen to you. But anyways, that was like a long conversation. <laughs> I'm on my way 
home. It's 4:40. Rob picked up packs, and I'm. And then he's going to do my oil change that I have to get done because we want it done before we go away. And I have to pack. Um, I want to pick up Chinese because I'm not cooking. So the jacket fits him <laughs> good. Look how he looks like a puffy guy. And plus he has a jacket on underneath of it. Wow. And then it also came with snow bibs. So he's going to have those on. Whoa. <laughs> and I got these and I cannot get them on him. So Rob's mom got him another pair of boots. So if they go on a lot easier, then I'm going to return these. You want to change the earls. The oils. Oh, I missed you. They fit you nice. I gotta get them. Wow, cool jacket, man. Hello. Then I got him this hat and this hat. So, they're so cute. And they both came with little mittens because I could not find waterproof mittens. Paxton's just totally playing with Rob's um, Axe bottle. Pax, you ready to get out? Mm. <laughs> you guys, tonight has been a night full of things that we didn't expect. Of course, it happens on like the worst night because we have so much stuff to do um getting ready to leave for tomorrow i had paxton's laundry i had to do because i didn't do it last night i still have to take a shower i still have to finish packing most of my clothes clothes is packed but i have to pack like um all of our snow stuff is out i just have to put it in a bag our upstairs bathroom the pipe that rob fixed um the fittings aren't like very tight on that the fittings like are really short like the one the pipe is really short so it's really close to the wall and the fitting that was on that is like loose so the water was leaking we were trying to fix that um we finally got the water to stop leaking so when we're gone we're gonna just turn off the water to the house because the wall got wet rob has to cut the wall out like piece of the wall out redo the piping make it longer and then put the and then we'll have to redo the wall or whatever but oh my gosh it's like come on oh, but rob's mom and dad came over and they dropped boots off they got three pairs of boots one is like kind of just for like colder weather they're not really like snow snow boots which i think he'd be fine in those um if he wasn't out for like a long period of time and then she got two pairs of the like, snow boots and she want, they want us to see like which one we like better on him then they'll take the other ones back but i feel gross i need to take a shower i gotta edit my vlog for today because that's not up yet and i just have so much stuff to do so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog because the rest of the night is just packing cleaning and editing and laundry i'm doing laundry right now yay but alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye! Max, can I can I try that one? That one? Can Daddy try that one? Oh okay. Okay. One. Here Pax, you do this one. This one. Come on. Yay! Good job, Pax. Yeah. <laughs> nice sharing.